everybody welcome back to my channel so i am vlogging today as you can all tell oh ignore the rest of the background my room is actually such a tip at the moment but i am vlogging because it is a sunday i'm a bit bored <laughs> and i do have a makeup client in half an hour so i am just preparing myself for that but i have not vlogged in over two weeks and i literally feel so out of filming it's kind of weird holding this camera up like vlogging right now but i am very fresh face i have got a lovely spot on my cheek because it's just hormones and everything like you know one likes to see it but yeah and i was gonna put some makeup on this morning but i would have been in too much of a rush and i am going out for a meal later on tonight with my mum my dad my sister and my grandma so i'm looking excited to that so um i am gonna probably put makeup on in the afternoon, I do have a shopping haul to film because basically I am going to town after my client and I need a few bits from Primark, like more like beauty stuff like uh, mitts and stuff like that and a little bit and bob. So I, I am probably going to take you along in town if I don't feel too awkward but it's quite busy on a Sunday and I kind of think when I haven't vlogged in a while and like, I try to vlog in public, I find it even more awkward so i am still trying to go over that awkwardness but it is a big like it's quite a big barrier so i i am just trying to go over that but yeah as you can tell i'm probably in one of those like cba routes might not i'm in one of those cba right i can't even talk this morning because i'm just so tired i was up until 11 o'clock last night so i'm going to drive back to probably absolutely blue as anything but yeah i'm just so tired and i just like this is my first kind of day having a day off since everything happened with the breakup and stuff. And also, by the way, thank you very much for all the support on that video. Obviously, it was a very hard video to film and I was actually contemplating uploading it. Um, but I thought it would be best and it will make people aware of why he won't be in my videos and stuff. But I have been sad. But I have been able to take my mind off by working like six days a week and he probably, probably thinking six days a week is quite a lot. Yeah, but two of those days I do the, like the beauty business and I don't even feel this if I'm working when I do that so I want to feel this if I'm actually working four days a week which isn't too bad to be honest. So yeah, but as you double check, all my makeup is nice and packed. Because I also have this makeup case which is quite big um, and then... I just have another one, but it just needs a bit of a clean inside because I can tell I've got all this makeup. But I've got like all my foundations, the concealers, the eyelash glue, like eye bases, eyebrow pomades. I've got the cream contours. I have a couple of palettes in there, and then I have yeah, this one here, which has all my makeup which is in here, which have been cleaned. <laughs> um, and then I also have eye pigments, lip liners, lipstick, lip glosses, eyelashes, a wide range of things in here so yeah but all my brush is nice and clean which obviously just makes me happy but I do hate cleaning them as well that's the only thing but as a makeup artist you need to have very clean brushes so yeah this is my morning so far I'll probably catch you up later on when I'm in town because I want to have a look in Primark, TK Maxx and that's probably it to be honest because like there's actually, there's actually not a lot of shops in Carlisle, which is a shame, but, but yeah, I'm just going to spend some money <laughs> to make myself skin. Here we are in town. I'll probably look really exposed to honest, but yeah, we've just been to McDonald's and got a drink, haven't we? Like, just like a small one, just because like, we're dying. We did walk into town, and it honestly, it's so hot. It must be like 23 degrees now, so it's just so warm, but Dad's here with me. Can say hi? Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, we're just waiting for mum. She has gone to swim and said we are waiting outside of Vanessa and then like we've got to cash some money in. We're going to have a look in Will Cause Primark. Yeah, you probably want them. No. They won't want to go on Primark. No, um, and then also TK Maxx as well, but our TK Maxx is like a greenhouse because like it's all like... Glass roof, uh, isn't it? A glass roof and stuff, so I don't know how we're going to pop in there. I'm going to change him, it's raining so Look at how big it is. It's like so big. What the hell? And this is a size 6 as well. Look, it's a size 6. 
Oh wait, it's not even on there. All right then, but yeah, it's actually huge. I'm not getting this. But before I give you all a little shopping haul, I just want to talk to you guys about Blissy, who have kindly gifted me one of their gorgeous pillowcases. So, as you can tell, I have an absolutely stunning pink silk pillowcase and the reason why I want to work with these guys is because I have been struggling to sleep a bit and I needed something to kind of help me sleep. The silk pillowcases from Blissy actually do improve the amount of sleep you get and instead of waking up like two times in the night you'll be able to have a lovely sleep, you'll be able to just sleep straight through and the thing about these is as well they do also help to decrease the amount of hair loss by by 43% which is really good because if you think as a girl especially we do lose a lot of hair and I actually hate it when you wake up in the middle of the night or in the morning and you just find a bit of your hair like on your pillowcase and your bedding it just gets everywhere so this will actually help you to prevent like hair loss it also acts as a thermal protector for when it is too hot in the middle of the night this will kind of help you stay nice and cool. The pillows won't get too warm when you're sleeping on them. I am actually very excited to use this pillowcase because I am obsessed with silk. These beautiful pillowcases are also made with 100% mulberry silk as well, which is even better because like, it is so smooth. They do have three different sizes, so they've got a king size, queen size and standard. So I do have standard because it's like my normal pillow, but this is my most favourite pillow as well because it's obviously really plush and when I'm sleeping on this, your head just sinks into it so definitely invest in a pillow for this pillowcase that you're able to sleep on as well because it will definitely give you a good night's sleep i am very happy with this little pillowcase and i am hoping fingers crossed i will be able to get a very good night's sleep now so thank you very much blissy for gifting me this beautiful pillowcase i am actually going to be making an order on there now to get another one and then i can kind of have two on my bed it'll look really cute and pink because obviously this pink color does they look really nice and like it does look a bit lighter on the camera but they've got this pink they've got a cream and two other colors as well thank you so much again blissy for gifting me this beautiful pillowcase it's absolutely stunning and i can't wait to get a good night's sleep honestly i am so excited right so now to move on to the little shopping haul so you probably know me by now i absolutely love my shopping so oh crap yeah, my camera just fell on me that was awkward as you guys probably know by now i absolutely love to shop and I am excited, it's like, you probably are, you're looking behind, and I do have a suitcase here, you're probably thinking why the hell have you got a suitcase, basically, I am actually going to Corfu with my mum, dad and sister in August, and you would need another little cabin case for me, so my parents have, have very kindly bought this for me from Primark, so this is, if, if I can put this down, oh yeah there we go, it is an IT cabin suitcase, it's like a black and white marble, how nice is that? It is sold from Primark. Yeah, I had to put this sticker on when like, we obviously bought it just in case someone thought we were stealing it. But yeah, it's sold. Um, and this is, yeah, the cabin size is £30. Really good the wheels on it. They're lovely gold wheels. And I've actually used the wheels. They are really good. And like, I love like the gold detail in there. Yeah, this kind of pulley handle is really good. But this just kind of moves like this way or sideways as well. Um, and it's really good. And it is like, a really good size. Inside, obviously... The cabin cases are small for a reason because I have to be able to fit in the cabin the kind of thing above you. Yeah, but I am very excited to use this because instead of obviously carting some sort of hold all, it is just easier to use this case. And Primark do have a lot of lovely cases in there. Highly recommend. Blooming obsessed with that. So that's you know, what I got from Primark, but my, my parents bought me that. But for PJs, I got a lovely matching PJ set. So these PJ tops can be worn as normal tops anyway, but I got this. It's like stony kind of grey colour um, and this is in an extra small I believe and it was £3. Like how good of a price is that and I've, honestly everyone is absolutely raving all these PJ tops. I do really like them because it actually keep you really supported in bed and I know I have small boobs and stuff but I do really like them so I am very happy with this. I also got the matching shorts in a 2XS and this is the same colour, the ribbed, it's got like frills on the bottom. And these shorts are really nice to wear for bed, so I am very happy with those. And honestly, Primark PJs, you cannot go wrong, so that's what I got from Primark. And then I also just 
I've stocked up on the basics. I've got the two packs of these cotton pads. I've got two packs of these cotton pads. And then I've got another nice set of cleansing water because I always have to keep stocked up. I can never run low of it because it, it does stress me out a bit, to be honest. So, yeah, you just got to be prepared. Also, from Boots, I had this guy new summer body half price. And this is the really deep sun kissed one. And I prefer this over the lighter one just because I feel like it shows on your skin more so if you don't know what it is it's basically a tinted kind of moisturizer and it gives you a nice kind of summer glow but i actually love this and if some days i can't be bothered to actually fake tan myself i will use this it is a lot more subtle and i i usually put it on for like two days before like it actually it shows up really brown but it does smell quite nice and this was 4 99 instead of 9.99 so i've saved myself five pounds of boots there and then my mum got like a little small one as well so i have kind of turned her into me now like getting on to like the the gradual tan but i'm very happy about that moving on to tk max if you guys don't actually know it basically i bought some lilac juicy joggers and i actually went to newcastle a couple of weeks ago and their tk max has there's so many things in there it's really big compared to the one in carlisle and yeah, they had so much juicy stuff, every colour of the rainbow, I was actually in my element. So I finally got you know, the matching lilac hoodie to my joggers. I am so happy this is in there. Only thing is, it is a size small and I have an extra small in juicy clothing. However, this hoodie isn't too oversized on me. It looks slightly bigger than like the extra small one that I've got, but it does fit really well. So this is going to match my joggers. It probably is too warm to actually wear the track suit now because... It is obviously really sunny on my outside, but it may, be, it may be in more awesome time. I will obviously get this out again and obviously wear it, but I've not actually had it on properly yet. So it does have all the tags in still. This is 39 99 so quite expensive, but I do have a nudie one and they do all always wash really well. So I'm very happy with that. I am a very happy girl, to be quite honest with you. Um, and then with Morphe in Newcastle, we don't have a Morphe shop. I was quite underwhelmed to be honest, only because I feel as if you know, the Morphe shop is quite dead, if you know what I mean. The staff members were really, they're not moody, but they just seemed very down and stuff. And I was I was kind of thinking, oh dear, what's happened? And also a lot of the things are on sale. And that's not, and that's not always a bad thing, but you know, they barely has any, any lip products and stuff. And like... It just seemed to be a bit like they were kind of getting rid of everything, but I, I don't I don't know. But anyway, in the Morphe shop is always good for bargains anyway. So I got this Broncho bronzer in the shade. I don't even know what shade it is, to be honest. The bronze vibes, I think it is actually. And this was meant to be £18. I got this for £6 and it's just like a really nice bronzer. Look at the packaging. So nice. It isn't too dark, it isn't too light, it's like in the middle. So this is going to be good for maybe clients because I could do with a new bronzer. So I got that first thing. Then I also got three eyebrow pomades because I actually need some new ones for like in my business because obviously busy working girl. So I got biscotti. Um, I got a chocolate mousse and I also got latte. Those. And then I got a couple of lipsticks but they're actually in my makeup kit. So I got like... A light nude and then I also got a bright pink and they were six pounds each I think and then finally I actually got a Jaclyn Hill JH34 carve your own crease brush and this was four pounds half price something and I've never actually tried the Jaclyn Hill brushes but I'm pretty sure they're just the same as a normal Morphe ones but I can always do with these type of eye brushes um, and if it was half price might as well treat myself so that's all I have bought I haven't I haven't gone overboard, I've obviously treated myself, but I am trying to save a bit more. Like I'm not like a really I'm not a really big spender anyway, but I'm just trying to focus on myself more, just trying to save as much money. Um obviously going on holiday, I might treat myself on holiday. Obviously can't wait to go to Greece. So yeah, I am very happy with the suitcase. It's probably one of my favourite things actually. And I do apologise if I am talking really quick. I'm just quite excited about the suitcase, okay? But yeah, I, I am very happy with this. It's actually so, so, so cute. Um, and I'm going to be able to put all my handbags in it. As I just said to my parents, I'll be able to put all my handbags in it because that's what I'm most excited for. But I think it has got a little lock on it, actually. But I would hate to, like, obviously touch them and 
obviously make a new cord and not be able to get into it that'd be quite embarrassing. Right, so as you can tell, I am all ready. So I've actually slapped a bit of makeup on and yeah, in my face it may look a lot darker compared to my neck. However, I did put a bit of I did put a bit of gradual tan on but I don't think it has showed up so I was thinking oh yeah I'll use a dark foundation it'll be fine and like it'll all blend in but obviously not because it doesn't actually look too bad but it is obvious but yeah so I'm basically wearing my dress from Primark it's the first time I've had it on and this is the kind of greeny ribbed one like it's really cute but like it just kind of made me look like I have no boobs at all and I don't, I don't have the biggest boobs in the world but <laughs> yeah it just is what it is um, and and that's it really because I backcombed my hair and then curled it because backcombing for me actually makes my hair thicker but in a good way because like, it'll keep the curls in for longer so I literally curled four bits on the side and four bits on this side so I'm hoping it'll stay in. I have obviously hairsprayed it with the fabulous got to be hairspray the plump version I can't really tell the difference between them both to be honest but yeah and I'm also going to be taking my little video handbag because I think it looked quite cute to be honest so I'm looking I am feeling very glam. I wish I could have put some fake tan on, but the self confidence is key. Always don't have to rely on having fake tan on, you know? So, yeah. I've gone for like a pinky rose goldy kind of brown I look. I am feeling very glam, but yeah. I've got to top up the lipstick as well. I'm actually using the YSL one. I don't even know what shade this is. Is that this pink shade? I'll show you there but I mean it's like a glossy lipstick like it is a little mini one because I got it in the perfume set of Christmas it is, it is really cute but honestly this blissy pillow is so soft it is it's so nice I have been sitting on it like all afternoon because like it is really so comfortable so I highly recommend and I'm not just saying it's because I have been gifted it I am obsessed with anything like silk like it's so nice it's so nice so yeah I think I'm going to be setting off in like 20 minutes I'd, I'd say so I'm going to obviously pack my lip liner, lipstick, essentials, ID because most likely I will get ID, you know what I'm like, I look about 12 Um, I might take my camera with me if I have space in my bag but because I've got quite a small bag I don't know Um, but yeah I'm going to try my best and I am quite hungry so I'm looking forward to have an Italian because I haven't actually eaten out at an Italian in quite a while so yeah I'm looking forward to some nice food. Okay, right, so I am home. So basically, I, I was going to vlog when I was there. However, I just decided it was like it was just so busy for starters, and then obviously I had my food and like I was obviously spending time with my family and grandma and everything. So I obviously just kept my phone in my bag and stuff. But I did walk there and not obviously walk back because I have burnt off the pizza because I did have like this chicken pizza which was very nice by the way it was very tasty but yeah um, and I had, I had a glass of wine and the man who served me he, he said to me oh hello oh hello pretty lady and like I obviously ordered a glass of wine and said um oh you're not old enough for some things yeah, my parents told me yeah, my parents told me I was 20 and like, I didn't believe me but like he still like they took the drink to the table and stuff but like, I felt a bit you know, weird because like he was like I was saying pretty lady to me and obviously thought I was 16. Like, I thought it was a bit weird, but I don't know, maybe just trying to be charming, I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, so, it is 10 past 9. Oh, wait. A cute little photo of me and my mum from a little while back. Um, So, I am obviously working tomorrow morning at 11.45 till 5. So, it, it, it's that awkward shift, really, but it's what it is. So... I am going to end this vlog here because I am just going to be chilling now. I'll just take this lovely dress off as comfortable as it is. I just want to get into something like comfortable. Obviously going to get to sleep for half ten tonight I think because I just need to get to sleep and just take this makeup off because my eyes are literally like closing up. So if you guys have enjoyed this little vlog please make sure to leave a thumbs up, a comment down below. Also subscribe and I will try to vlog as much as I can so please stay tuned. And yeah I will see you all in my next vlog. Bye everyone.